The team at Dungarees know the hardest workers pack the biggest appetites. They've teamed up with me, Chef Jonathan Collins from The Outdoor Chef, to bring you simple, handcrafted recipes for hardworking men and women. Whether you're hosting the big game or cooking for an entire campsite, maybe you're cooking something that you've recently hunted or firing up the barbecue in the backyard, we've got recipes that hungry people will love to cook and eat. Getting outdoors away from the craziness of the modern world can do wonders for your soul. My favorite part of camping is the campfire and the conversations that happen around it. It's all about food and it's all about family. Today's campsite recipe is not only simple and delicious, but it'll make your fellow campers forget they're miles from a kitchen. Campfire cooking is one of the best ways that I know to enjoy the great outdoors. Anytime you're out camping, you're going to be developing an appetite with all the hard work. And when you do, an applewood smoked baby back rib is just a ticket. Now what you can do is make sure to start your fire 60 to 90 minutes ahead of time so that it can burn down. You don't want flare ups, especially with pork fat. And I've got a pan suspended over that fire so that after I put the beautiful dry rub on I can set them on there and get that smoke going I want to smoke for about an hour and I want to make sure that temperature is consistent about 300 degrees so you want a good hot fire but not raging hot certainly no flames and what I'll do is I'll just feed the fire with some of these now you can use applewood or I've also got these wine chunk barrels either way something to give a rich smoke to this beautiful flesh Now these spices are an absolute explosion of flavor and I often grind fresh spices before I go camping so that I've got something that's this incredible. Now all you do at this point is take these spices and start to spread them on. I always do it somewhere where I'm not going to get it all over the place but I want to do it near the fire. I want to get these spices on and get it ready for smoking. After about 60 minutes, the pork ribs, they start to tell you a story. If you have a quick look at them, you can see that they begin to shrink off the bone. And you see all that beautiful color? Well, that's from the smoke. Now, I've continued to put little pieces. I had some nice apple wood. So I actually put that raw apple wood in there, just slightly dry, getting this constant smoke. Now, what you can do, you might think to yourself, what do I do if I want to do six or seven of these ribs? With something like this that I've rigged up, you can literally go vertical with the ribs and then just take a green stick, something that's about an inch in diameter, and put two at either side as you rack them up. That way the smoke can get through and the heat can get through, but you get, you'll get a really nice even smoke. The last thing I have to show you is this. So if you want to be able to control the temperature, what I've got is I've got a chain, and so if I want to bring that up, let's say the fire gets a little hot, I can bring that up a link and I've still got complete control and uh, giving it a spin every now and then is helpful too. But this is a great way to control the temperature, control the amount of smoke and get them ready for the next stage, which is braising in their own beautiful fat. Now 
This is the best part. So we've got all that flavor base included. And now what I've got is I've tented up the sides and I have some pure apple cider. That apple cider that's going in is going to be the braising liquid. So not only is it going to concentrate and reduce, it actually becomes part of that barbecue sauce. Then I've got a little bit of brandy as well. This is optional, but for me, I love the flavor. Remember that brandy is aged in oak. So all that beautiful flavor is now in there. Now's the time to close it up. So I literally just close this up, make sure it's sealed really nicely. If you've got thin aluminum foil, make sure to do a double roll. And what you're gonna have is all of that beautiful flavor is now in this packet. This is gonna go back to the fire and just sit there and braise for about an hour and a half to two hours or until that's fall apart delicious. Smoking at your campfire will never be easier, and this is a recipe that can lead to so many more. I wanna show you the results and what braising does. So you can see that those bones, the meat has shrunk up on those bones even further. Now let's have a look at what the finish looks like. Oh my goodness. Are you looking at how that's finished up? So all of that meat is now tender, it's beautifully seasoned, and I've got all of that sauce to be able to use as a mop and serve over top of these applewood smoked ribs. This is gonna be a hit at your camp this season. Thanks for checking out this recipe. You can download a printable version of the full recipe by going to dungarees.com backslash recipes. And don't forget to check out the other recipes in this delicious series. Until then, remember, in the kitchen, slow is smooth and smooth is fast.